So I've just made it down the coast a little bit, down the Thames Estuary to uh, Old Lee. And um, right down here on the Thames Estuary, as I said, obviously got the, the tide out as well, which is what I really wanted really, because the mud flats that uh, present here, the sort of curves that, that uh, lead through the mud flats, because obviously as the tide goes out, as the channels that it makes, works for some really sort of interesting leading lines um, and some bit of texture. If it was just flat and bland, which you can obviously get with the tide in, you don't really get much detail in it and it gives a little bit more interest. So hopefully it should be a good shoot. Again, I haven't got the tripod, so all handheld and take it from there. I've just got a couple of competitions set up here now um, just obviously on this uh, ramp leading down to obviously where the, the boats are moored up as well just using the slight elevation that I've got here looking across there to the boats that are moored up as well getting some of the uh, the river channel that's still there as well uh, the mud and the leading lines unfortunately obviously got those mooring poles there as well but can't really help that unfortunately but that's working really quite well and this location is really good because you've got several different uh, compositions literally just sort of turning on the spot really and uh, again obviously then just looking across here as well and this one here works really quite well I like it I've got a little bit of the, the front foreground there as well then I've got obviously the river channel and then the mud leading up to that yacht uh, stranded obviously on the uh, on the mud flats there as well and that works really quite well I think obviously the different layers as well and getting obviously the interesting sky in and hopefully in post-processing I can obviously bring out that sky and the increase the detail in there as well and then the final image as well that I've got from this literally one location is looking here as well with this uh, other boat that uh, is obviously moored up here as well and again uh, obviously I feel that's quite nice getting obviously the horizon line in there as well and that really um, obviously increases that composition I feel so so far three images in one location working out really well settings for this again ISO uh, 400 because I'm handheld f16 as my normal setting and aperture priority as normal Okay, so I've just dropped down the ramp from where I was just now. I've just turned around here and obviously got composition down at this point and it really works out quite well. I've got this uh, really good rope in the uh, immediate foreground as well. I've uh, got obviously the green of the rope and the, and the seaweed on the, on the foreground, then obviously the bright orange of the boat itself with obviously the rusted uh, jetty point here as well and the uh, the crane there as well it works really quite well I like, like this one is um, quite a bit and uh, again F16 ISO 400 handheld
So what I've tried to do here with this one is um, have a good look at some of the detail that's here, some of the uh, more intricate shots rather than looking at the grand vistas that are in front of you. And uh, just picking out this uh, wooden stump here as well, with obviously the seaweed that's all been around it where it's been obviously decayed as well, works out really, really good. Obviously the textures with the bolt going through it as well, uh, works out quite well. I've increased the aperture to f8 and um, up the ISO to 100, just so I can obviously get that, that sharpness within the image as well. And uh, works out quite well, gives obviously blows the, uh, ba the background out a little bit more and uh, works as quite a good image. Okay, so I've just moved along a little bit of the uh, high street here in uh, Old Lee and uh, come, come to look out over the uh, estuary here as well. D down to South End, you possibly may see in the far ground um, is the uh, South End Pier. So uh, getting quite some good images as well. Quite a hazy morning, but again, I think that adds a little bit of atmosphere to it. It's just work trying to work with the conditions that you actually get. As I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, the time that I actually get to go out because of life commitments is very limited. So you just got to make the best of what you're given. So hopefully today work out quite good. I've got a few other images as I've been walking along as well. Got some nice sort of cobbled streets, so uh, it works out uh, quite nice. Again, um, obviously looking at that and uh, put up the settings as I put up those images as well. And trying to go out on one of the jetties just here as well um, and uh, trying to get that different perspective looking out down, down the estuary using that sort of river as, as I mentioned earlier in the previous piece to camera and uh, hopefully working out quite well. Gain settings, I, uh, F16, ISO between 100 to 400 depending on obviously the conditions. Um, it is quite windy down here as well so it's adding a little bit more excitement to the thing so uh, hopefully work out quite well. So I've got some good images here at uh, Old Lee, so uh, hopefully they'll work out quite well. And uh, quite an interesting morning. The sun's uh, been really diffused now by the, uh, the clouds, so that's uh, rolling in and possibly it looks like it's gonna be set in for the day. However, don't give up is the attitude that I've got. So off to the next location, let's go. Mm -hmm. 